following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning! Small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. Your chip. In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time, time. All right, bless up Purple Nation, Curly Last of Ice Boxer, check in for one more bonus episode of In the Meantime, episode 20. Yeah, man, I think when you am the Naked Emperor, Artificial Intelligence. It's it rough still, you know, but you know something I always feel say the name Artificial Intelligence, wrongfully assigned. Yeah, man, I feel say it assigned to the wrong thing. Because honestly, look on look the human condition, on every level of life, and look good. If not, we are work off of artificial intelligence. We we'll limit our stifle. We, 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 we climb towards the spiritual intelligence. What we, what we truly have. Look, look on it. Read Planet Hurt if you're not doing it yet. I, I always say I'm approved that. We are talking about a creature. We, 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 we build weapon, you know. <laughs> we build weapon. At, we, we have to push a one button. The entire earth can just disappear. We talk about a creature we take almost every good thing where it make for advance humanity. Advance them and turn it into something totally opposite. Them take nuclear power, for example, where it make for generate electricity and turn it into a weapon we can destroy the entire earth in a one press of a button. One button and psh, we're gone. And they make that weapon there. And see them turn the internet where it make for connect everybody. Oh, all over the world to one another and make communication easier. There, look at them, look at them turn it in. So we separate and disconnect human beings all over the world more than ever. <laughs> and the machine, yeah, we are artificially intelligent. But come to think of it, if I we program them, I guess we can call them so. Yeah, man, if I we program them, we suppose we can call them so. <laughs> and, I, and I guess that's why we had so much trouble with them right now. Are about fishy so much trouble with them. In a day. Not so distant future. Anyway, I'm going to chat about that a little more. All right, remember to like, share, and subscribe and join the channel and also become a Patreon or just support the channel in any way outside that way. I just list out what you can. Links for support the channel through merchandise or you know, contribute in any way financially and otherwise in the description. Because what I really see I go on is that everybody has the next person I go support and them can just go and enjoy it free of cost. And everybody I think the same way. And left me basically a fight for all it up on my own. And sadly, are them people who think say other people for support and them for just go and watch. At them, the commercial, them bad the most, you know. At them, skip the commercial, them for get to where they want to get to, you know. The most. But I can tell you again, you know, it's rough for stay another fighter without, you know, help, you know. And the support, you know. Because if this continue to be something we cost more for produce it than we are coming, then after a while, I'm not going to left with no choice but for lockdown shop, shop, shop. This section of In the Meantime is brought to you by Renaissance Immigration, the cure for the Canadian strain of immigration anxiety. Call Renaissance now at 437-703-114728. The consultation is absolutely free. And on the American side of all immigration concerns, there's Lewis Law Professional Association. They've got your back on all matters related to visa, citizenship, removal of conditions, waivers, and much more. Call Lewis Law now on 954-530-1717. In the meantime... Also, member for check out Good Vibes Jamaican Grill. They have two locations, one at 4352 Avalon Boulevard, Milton, Florida, zip code 32583, and also 7999 Pensacola Boulevard, Pensacola, Florida, zip code 32534. 
All right, so quick reminder, do remember to contact the WhatsApp number, which is 876-285-9615. At 876-285-9615. So what's WhatsApp now with any kind of query or not have any kind of concern. You know about how to pick up merchandise and support the channel in any kind of way. I'm talking about support and merchandise. Members of Planet Hurt book available on Amazon in every format. It also there are JA deals. 6D Constant Spring Road, Park Plaza, right across from the bus centre. That are the same plaza where mothers in you can't miss it. Or go on jadeals.com to find out where they have it at the rest of them locations all over Jamaica. And JA Deals also ship internationally, some of the people them, where they all bought in a foreign. You know, especially the people them, in the nooks and cranny in the, in the Caribbean, they say, boy, they want to get to it and can't get to it. You don't have no excuse. Planet Earth is also available in a selected locations of Kingston Bookshop. 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 In the meantime. Put my headphone on there. Put on my headphone. My name is Isaiah. And I love. In the meantime. 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 Hide, 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 hide. Purple Nation. In the meantime, you've got a voice note. Heal up voice box. The name of Kevin, aka Samo. Brother, may have two questions. First, what do you think about this justice situation eh, where I'm dip on the run for murder? And also, you hear about the girl named Kalila Reynolds? We do a video with the where everybody attacks it proves it. Most Jamaicans misunderstood the Prime Minister's speech. The speech I make with the year about this whole cashless thing, yeah. And honestly, still, brother, I feel like I used to step into the hands nest, you know, and get them busy. I run up and I try to find some. But I don't like still. I watch our video and I see a whole heap of patrol tonight, brother. A whole heap of things missing tonight. I also need to come here right now, still. Big up, Zion. 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 All right, Kevin. If you ask what I think about the Joshi situation we are going presently, that can mean only two things. Yeah, one or two. Yeah, one of two things is either. You're new to the program? If so, welcome. Or it mean, so you're not retained. Means you're not a member. Because surely you would have must know, say, when it comes to that Joshy something here, I'm not have to say nothing new. Listen episode 43, in the meantime, episode 43. When we did talk about the whole viral interview where, where, where Joshy did do on ER and see if I predict all of this. And I get me wrong, you know, I don't celebrate the unfortunate situation here in no way. You know. No, sir. I'm an uncle hope. I can only hope that so this tension here in a grand span right now no escalate. You know, and start to go up a place. But in that episode when I did talk about Joshi, you know, the first time, you know, I talk about the mindset. You know, and when I see the mindset that can possibly bring him. Enough people. Did I say a foolishness me attack, you know? Loud the yacht, touch out the yacht attack. Yeah, man, kind of did about some serious fire. And the things when did I talk about are true and a reality. But as usual, it's never that simple. And him, I will if I would defend him. Never know that. They must say, loud the youth, the youth attack, where must say around him. The youth them sing, but where they must see. Fair enough. But why is it that when the youth them even make it, I'm going to start with some whole heap of different things. The good majority of them always end up back same place. I reinvent and I fight the same old battle where, where, where them don't notice it over. All right, I'm not going to say nothing more. I'm going to revisit parts of episode 43. And see if women did a set at that time. Because this is the episode we post from December 23rd, 2021. You know. So I'm going to see if not women did a set. Play a part in this. I'm going to look now. See it here. Why do I get the feeling that I don't have to ask what's in the news? So for those who don't know, recently up and coming artist, Joshi, do an interview with yeah, man. On a local Jamaican television program named The Entertainment Report. You understand? So... He see a lot of things in this interview, you know, we gain him national attention, yeah man, go viral. He speak a lot of uncomfortable truth in that interview, we resonate with many people, yeah man. Some people are one die for, the, for bravery and some people are one die for the liquor, including Anthony Miller, the interviewer. Well, them say Tom junk, but Tom no fool, but I believe if Tom never fool, he wouldn't junk. Because the proverb say, wine is a maca and strong drink is raging. And whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. But they also say a uh, drunk heart speak a sober mind. Remember that? 
That is true. Because I you know, say nothing when I not hear people say in the ghetto every day, even when they're fully sober. How much time I'm going to tell you, know, say, the ghetto is a slave plantation where they program we against ourselves through our beliefs. We make it overly emotional and put feelings before everything and carry around baggage where we refuse to put on. And don't know, say, a pure illusion make everything we're in this baggage. Yeah. I have seen the kind of unnecessary pain and anger in my surroundings growing up with family and friends. Even my brother, where you see there, I did have to turn up trunk to keep him out of prison because of this programming against we, we, we own upliftment. So, my brother, what do you, what do you think um, helps with the, the continuous cycle of this ghetto slavery as you often describe it? What makes it continue? Because when people are exposed to a different perspective than the one where them know, is that one perspective or view upon reality they are going to use and measure everything. And that I go always I carry them back same place in the pain because in reality they never left. And this is not just a ghetto thing in a Rasta. This is what make every kind of conflict you can think about. So terrible because what? Everyone just a guess and assume about the next perspective. Where them don't know so them cannot truly know unless them experience it. That's why I always wish uptown and downtown could have trade place for a week. Like what busy signal is saying I'm sorry. That's so true. Yeah, man. I, I, I wish every youth, every ghetto youth could have fly out at least once, go somewhere in our world. So they don't get to realize that the world bigger than all the pain and frustration force them to see. What you see in this interview, yeah, is rightfully an angry youth that play a theme part in a script written by a system where you use this script, design a mindset where he inherit from his surroundings and adapt from people who come before him. I lead straight to, to that to the anger there. We, we, we make him blind to the true reality away my look pan. The truth is bigger than what he thinks you you saying. Yeah man, everything we most of we think no natural. It is it, a design for keep we making the worst decisions where we, we, the system benefit of. I can't say that enough. They make sure so we're surrounded in the ghetto by everything we distract with from our own progress. You think it's an accident make the average get a person eat education like Pison Virgin? You believe system what we have make we see everything in a reverse and have everything back way? Yeah, because we confuse humility with weakness, anger with strength, and disagreement with disrespect. So all we have is a, uh, as a measure of self-worth is to live to prove how tough we is all the time without any kind of balance and protect our identity and that's how the problem start. Because we don't know, say we are protect a fraudulent and counterfeit self-image. But we think our friend, but don't know, say our worst enemy. Because I eat a stop with progress. I will fight for it sometime at the expense of our, our life. Well, as most of we deal with music or any kind of success. We'll only just picture success as life itself. We defend the idiot in the mirror at the expense of our life or success. Quite often. And we socialize for belief so that idiot in the mirror is the smartest person. We know. I personally don't believe that Joshi did anything wrong. That make you a 95% of people, including a good many, with way more than three brain cells who think them intelligent. And sadly, a large portion of the brightest people don't and don't know. Because them do have the spiritual intellect to see through the facade where them believe is reality. So me just have to shake my head. When me see them a back, me see them ignorance to create the problems with them all ways I can them. Right now, me only address this Joshi situation here, yeah man, because it is the perfect practical example. We're showing real time when me always ask about the one track. Simple mindedness, we make, the, make even the brightest among us think everything is A, B, C and it's always obvious. When there is no one size fits all solution to any problem, we, 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 we even, we even say Joshi a name out here now. My address in this issue is not only about Joshi, but a whole ghetto culture who program for often shoot themselves in at them foot and think of people are doing it. It's funny how him actually have a story in a this interview yeah, where, where, where him talks and shoot himself in, in a him foot. Because this is actually a popular phrase or term where them use to describe a situation where you sabotage yourself. If you look it up, yeah, man, really? it mean to damage your own cars without intent. Him actually a shoot himself in his foot on live TV if you're wise enough to see it. And this is because, again, the ghetto built on a culture of self-sabotage. And most of we cannot see it. See it, see it, see it. clear now, Arwa. Most garrison youth not see the algorithm. Because realistically, that's what 
every surrounding really is, you know. It's an algorithm, you know. Because when you're in a surrounding, long before you're in the internet, I'm talking this all the time too. Long before any internet, you see the surroundings where you're in and, 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 and that, that surroundings they alone you're used to and, and that, just, that are grown in a circle. It's an algorithm, you know. And most people don't see the destruction of the algorithm where they're stuck in the ghetto algorithm. They don't see destruction right? And that's why they can't come out right? Because they're programmed to stay there. Because they have to serve this fraud idea. Say, boy, you know, a man, you know, a smarty way. We not to make nothing pass or leg or nothing. And you see, because winning the fight of them identity, them have to have a fight. So them wake up every day and pick a fight in order to see themselves as our man. And it's rough on both sides of the fight when you're caught in the algorithm. Yeah. Because even if I defend, you, I defend yourself from some dangerous people, it never going to end well. So the solution is to find yourself with the courage to leave, to break the bonds of that algorithm. And at this, so the problem really start. Because most people addicted to the algorithm are surroundings there. And as much as how them love talk or sing about bad mind people, them love the drama and the excitement and rush. Yes, them love the rush. We're having the drama, give them. You think a girl alone have a fuck up abusive boyfriend and no one left? A people stay so. Because again, the same energy are manifesting in a different ways, in a different situation. It's like how some girl can't stand for around a disciplined, educated man. And she find him boring. A same thing. Why you see some ghetto youth get rotten rich and buy a house uptown and go the hunger three times? And because they're so too structured for them. They're addicted to the chaos of the ghetto environment. We're full of the bad mind people where them think them eat but can't live without. Even them creativity tied to the environment. Because which fight them are going to sing about if them not have the fight? So now for we pick a fight in order to have the fight there. Because without the fight, what is our identity? Alright, I'll play the next part of the same episode, 43. With some things we must say to Anthony Miller. I tell all of my friends them, say yo, me no friend killer. But if my friend them really I try to kill me, what do you feel like me to do? Eh? I tell my friend them when I grow with from marble and box chuck and pampas and nappy say if me find out say one of them I try to kill me me I go murder them where you think me should have done where you think me for do I don't think man say if him find out so when I'm bridging I pre for murder him I murder them and usually I know in these ghetto circumstances we have this kind of mindset a talk like that usually means say if a man hear say a man a pray for kill him, you know, years say. Not confirm or verify if murder is needed with a blue ticky. Him just a go kill them. That me now say if me want to kill one of him friend, all me have to do is tell him. Say the friend a pray for kill him. And him a go end up to the whole of the dirty work for me. I end up a prison. And I think you now say the worst mistake where you, whose profession is an artist, yeah, make another interview there. You never see that day there, you know. But the people where you license for gun, did I listen? And them now go get somebody where them consider irresponsible a license for your gun. And the police them where you call corrupt and load up the wickedest way. Now go and be seen with you. Cause people are gonna know say them are the corrupt police. So you now go have them protection. So whole heap of your foot them you shoot, man. And where you get too much foot? It look like you're a spider. You now think bridging. Because when you alienate or cut off all your legal means of protection. You have to only live with the friend them where you definitely have to go kill. Because nobody now protect you. And them know. And the way you have to plan to protect yourself, you have to put in the system where you think you're smarter than, smarter than, smarter than, smarter than. Look again. If that thinking there, protect him. Like when no found need to say, I protect the youth, I protect himself. See it here. Wanna see how it reaches so yet? Because it is quite possible. Same own words where them have got to dig up back from the whole interview, they can come and quote on him. You know? The garrison is not the cool place where Babylon make we romanticize it for be. It's a trap. It's a modern slave factory where brainwashed parents to create little slaves for the system. Bypass and the same ignorance will make and keep them poor to them picnic. So that even when them picnic get rich, them still have a poor way to interpret reality. And as such, them end up back same place 
I repeat the same cycle and I expect a different result. It is a lead, say I'm mad, I call him, you know. And I make him know what's going on, you know. And I use the word alleged because I know people stay. Because by the time one story reach the third years, I want a different complete story. If anybody know what really go on, you know, can reach out to me and me will make the correction. But a lead, say I'm mad, I call him. Fedora. They do the same thing where most girlfriends in our type of environment they love do. Put a man to the test to prove say my man. Prove so you love me. Show the world so you can defend me. If that is not the case, my apologies in advance. But regardless of what cause the outcome, condolence to the family we lose a loved one. And also, hopefully we don't lose Joshi in the process. Either to death or prison. I hope he may escape this and come out with a lesson. And I hope the lesson is that you, Joshi, learn. Say, so power not come from have to like a gun or no, it's on gun there, have a gang. Power is having such things at your disposal, but exercising restraint unless it is totally necessary, 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 necessary. In the meantime, Jam Icon Tours, them is a tour guide company with a difference. Them have drivers and guides who have a wealth of local knowledge and know the country inside out. Them have tourism lack from ecotourism, historical, sports, business, rural and cultural, you name it. And if they are foreign and well want to visit Jamaica, but that's a boy, honey, the State Department says crime is bad down there. That's a bummer. I really wanted to see Bob Marley's guitar and Usain Bolt's track shoes. Even though some of the news when I hear overdone, you're not for worry, security guaranteed. While you're not turn up a drink jelly, if somebody decides that they want to take your jelly, a man dead if you bust them jelly. Jelly chopping from all sides. You can't beat that. You get safety, comfort and convenience and the most courteous and professional staff. And for all of my locals, aka Jamaican, who know see foreign people who know in a country more than one. And now for only one dead and never go mobby and I tell Tammy Lee, say no, they so it's trip there. Well, a time for no go all about. A Jamaican have special price for locals. Uh, oh, yeah man, the business is JTB, Jamaica Tourist Board Compliant, you know, TPDCO certified and all necessary documents for operate, up to date and current. They have a service on a daily basis like airport and hotel transfer. If you know here the trip or you would like, take a visit to them website www.jamicon.com. Them can tailor a package for suit your specific need, no matter the age or physical capability. Then I'm going to find an activity or a place for your visit. Instagram, Jamaican underscore tours. Facebook, Jamaican tours. Twitter, Jamaican tours. Comfort and security, Jamaican tours. Jamaican tours, safe, friendly, 100%. All right, for my Caribbean people, especially my Jamaican, them in Florida, we said them a search for the ultimate Jamaican restaurant. Tell Google Park up, can you find Good Vibes Jamaican Grill? And you know what I say, none of them are the place that we are imitate cooking. Good Vibes, if you tell them you say it welcome, all of the returning customers them, but stop licking out the plate them when you're not done, because it's unsanitary. Good Vibes situated in the heart of Pensacola and Milton. Good Vibes deliver some great Jamaican favorites like Jamaican jerk chicken, curry goat, oxtail, and a whole lot more. And the vegetarian them not have a bad mind. Good Vibes have nothing locked to. So check in at the Milton branch, 850-686-5011. Or the Pensacola 850-977-4843. And if you miss Jamaica in a different way from how Lisa Anna did do it, because I run your runway and the papers tie up, the atmosphere of good vibes will give you a nostalgic experience where you transport you straight to yard. And if you want one piece of the franchise, the opportunity to do that available here now. So come experience the unforgettable culinary journey at Good Vibes Jamaican Grill. Where everybody guarantees good vibes. Vibes, vibes, vibes. And now, if you answer your question, Kevin, about Kalila, aka the girl, you know, we put her in to where she consider as Jamaica's ignorance in relation to how, you know, most of we respond to the whole cashless society speech where the Prime Minister did make. All I can say, it, it, it rough. <laughs> it rough. How people, most people, me should I say, can't say they don't actually use their own brain. Or how they don't actually think for themselves. If where she comes say, actually make sense to them. If it was that them actually did see most of the Prime Minister's speech. <laughs> but guess what? Most of them get new money and a run joke. <laughs> None of them. No member where they did a cost ball last hour, much less last week. I <laughs> just hear the headline now. <laughs> well, we still had the point cashless. Still, a lie? Alright, Kevin. 
I play the first half of our famous video. What are you saying? First. And then we get the night. See it here. See it here. See it here. Did Prime Minister Andrew Holness backtrack on his position of having Jamaica become a cashless society? I'm Khalila Reynolds, financial journalist and educator based in Jamaica. So, a couple days ago, I saw this clip. It's very soon this position of a, a human being exchanging cash and so on, that is going to disappear from the banking system very soon. And that had me all kinds of confused. I was like, Prime Minister actually said that? Did he make a mistake or something? Because as far as I know, the government's position has always been that cashless transactions are meant to complement cash transactions. Hence, they're printing new banknotes. Well, Kalila, unfortunately for you, I don't know if I like what Kevin just say. I miss stepping in the hands and I have run up and down to find something to say and something to counteract the valid claims we've been making in recent weeks about this cashless society thing. Yeah. Whether I'm part of who not throw a word pan or not, I have got to remind you if you know and bring you up to speed if you don't know. Say, I'm me. Pioneer and bring attention to the reality. Say, people I always I use one little piece of every little thing to create them one story. I don't know. I end up with unrealistic expectations of everyone and everything. I ask any purple soldier that I steal news over, yes sir. I ask anybody where I follow me long time. How them concept they used to baffle them before them finally get it. I ask anybody where I read Planet Hurt. So quite naturally, it's going to be a habit for me to look deeper into things before I me talk or have an opinion. Now, based on what I see in your video, it would have seemed like you are the person there. In this case, we are take the truth. At the Prime Minister's speech and a twist it for make your own point. Because you must know say where you have where you play is not the full clip like where you just claim. I mean I play the rest of your video, you know. I mean not do nothing at all to your video. I play like half of it already. I mean soon play the rest. But we are going to examine some of the things where you're claiming at the first section of your video first. But anyway, we did a little bit of research and my team found the full clip of what the Prime Minister actually said, and here it is. Oh, well. Banking consumers are seeing it as well because the banks are moving very rapidly to digital. You have something now called artificial intelligence. Very soon, this position of a, a human being exchanging cash and so on, that is going to disappear from the banking system very soon. And you are going to have to interface with machines. All right, so I'm going to go back up a little. Kind of, you know, have got already how, which part she end fear clip, which you take out of the frame. Human being all right, see exchanging that. cash and so on, that is going to disappear from the banking system very soon. And you are going to have to interface with machine. Now notice I pause my pause. So no can say. I cut me, I cut out nothing. All right, see that I'm going to play. I don't want it to be a scary thought, but it is a thought that we all have to embrace. This is how you stop your clip. But if you left it for run, this is how it come exactly after. Where you stop your clip, you know. So I'm going to play the actual frame of the Prime Minister's speech. Because that's not the full clip, like what you're claiming. You, know? you take your part, a little part, out of the actual frame. Yeah? So I'm going to show what would have come right after where you stop your own. This would have come next. Interface with machines. I don't want it to be a scary thought, but it is a thought that we all have to embrace. Why you never make that part the play? Because I know it will change the context. And contradict the lie where you plan to come tell. How so? I get into that further down. But before me do that, I go play the same frame from the first part and show you where she left out at the first part. Coming weeks I will be and days I'll be making certain announcements regarding the acceleration of Jamaica's intention to become a fully digital society. Fully Digital society. Fully digital society. Very soon, this position of a, a human being exchanging cash and so on, that is going to disappear from the banking system very soon. Why Kalila never start fair video from the top of the frame? 13 seconds wouldn't kill her. Again, it would have changed the context and contradict the lie where she planned to tell. Talk about that further down. So at this point, we have questions. And so my well-decorated financial journalist, since this human exchanging of cash is with bank teller according to you, and that the Prime Minister did mean fisse. Since that thing did mean fisse, why him never come back and say it? Instead of the tantrum where him true about blaggers. 
and Mark Gold didn't try to undermine him. Why after the tirade, him never just simply explain, say, boy, you know, a bank tell me that talk and, you know, just show you how stupid we are and how we are cussing for nothing. Is it because him never think of it? And if so, why not? I mean, if it is truly the case yeah, that he mean, then that would have been him, him, him natural comeback, right? Why take you for come say it after weeks of debating and useless ranting? Why? I mean, I mean, accusations, but the question is valid and them need answering. Follow me go over this again. According to you, the Prime Minister did mean say a simple, the, you know, one human exchange in cash with a bank teller. A data got done. Meaning, say boy, after a while, cash exchanges will be done completely with a machine. And that you said, oh, fair enough. But if that are truly the case, then answer for the last part in the frame, where you conveniently left out, by the way. Answer for that part, yeah. I don't want it to be a scary thought, but it is a thought that we all have to embrace. Only thing people are clown, if you look up on the overall idea of digital banking, when there's something with them, like you just mentioned to in your video, being a enders from morning, stop playing ignorant, Kalila. Stop playing ignorant to the lesser control aspect of it where really across the problem. You know the people's biggest concern is that the Prime Minister actually advertised said digital banking are going to stop coexist with cash. Stop taking off the idiot. But that's the issue. You know. Yes, we've been a large money in an ATM. So what about something we used to from God a six month old? Could that be a scary thought? The suggestion of people being scared carries with it the assumption that what is about to happen will be a totally new thing. Nobody wouldn't get afraid if you tell them, say, you just now go deal with bank teller. You have to go put your cash in an envelope and bank it with a machine. Am I getting it now? What the word fully digital suggests? It suggests that even though we half digital now, very soon, or should I say rapidly, everything are going to be digital. This cannot mean anything more than the extinction of cash and therefore the total control of our life by untrustworthy people. A majority of people easy for fool your fuck still, you know. Easy for can, you know. Because somebody come in a pantsuit and look confident like them know what they must say. And everybody back down. She just come use the emperor's new clothes, pal. The emperor's new clothes, for, for those who don't know. Is a story about an emperor where two men come up with a scheme for scam the emperor and the wickedest way ever. The man them come and say, hey, we have this, this, this material we're going to build a suit for you. we never been worn. It's going to be the greatest thing in the world. It's an extravagant type of material. It's invisible. Nobody can see it. Long and short tight. The man them there, they do like them as so. Do like them as put on the suit for him, the emperor, and see it, you know. But him no, I feel like him no wise if him no see it. So he asked him subject them in the palace. You no, know, no, see that suit here, it bad. Them feel like, say, what? If the emperor see it, him no more me. So I have to do like my seat. And everybody we are par with them, and them look round upon them and say, you know, see it bad. Them say, yes, man. Bad suit because what? Them have friend and no more me. How them for see the emperor? How them for see this? I mean, no seat. Everybody else think everybody else see it, and them alone no see it. Till the emperor walk naked down the street. In a, in a parade where him say, I'm going to wear this suit go. With swinging khaki all bought. And at first, everybody I do like say them see it. Because nobody, nobody else but them things see it. No more than them. I want like a boy take for come say emperor naked. And in this case, you know, just because people come and talk nice and use big words and eloquent. And look like them know what they must say. Or no do like, or no know what they must say. All when no know better. The fucking emperor naked. Stop do like, or no see it. I make people turn on in a menke. So back to Kalila, my friend. You, you, you're willing to face uh, this innocent human versus bank teller concoction? Is that attempt for further gaslight? Way? You're not? Then explain another part yeah. You're not the same frame of the speech. Explain this. They're still comfortable with the cash under the mattress. They still want to go and fill out the form and hand it in. But that era is fast coming to an end. Please show me which part in that. In him statement a, a refer to only bank teller. You still not convinced? Say you're wrong? About this speech and not being related to rapidly introducing a cashless society. All right, make a revisit the rest of your words. Now, as you guys know, I have been an advocate for moving towards a cashless society. I hear the key word there, towards a cashless society. Not talking about abandoning cash completely. Wait, so... Isn't moving towards a cashless society eventually abandoning cash completely? 
Tell me, say, if you are in people, yeah. Be honest, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think and, like next week or the next six months this whole thing are coming based on that speech, yeah. There is no part of this, no matter how you cut it and slice it, we could have tell you anything else. The man say, and I quote, in the following weeks and days, I will be making certain announcements regarding the acceleration, which means the speed up of Jamaica's intention to become a fully digital society. Our fully digital what? Bank? No. Society. The people reaction to the whole of this is not unfounded. It's not unnecessary. It not baseless and simply just misunderstood like you want them to believe. When we see us in your video, it's a judicial courtroom approach where you just like a liar don't seek to establish truth in our case, but I play with words and I use them to create reasonable doubt. And just like a liar, you know say once you create reasonable doubt, then you remove the resistance to a particular verdict that is favorable to you or whosoever a pull your string. So Khalil, you know, let me know. If there's any other misconstrued issues that I can help you clarify, darling. Nice try. You are beautiful, though. When we say purple, we mean that. So the world in a to panic or not to panic mode. But yet again, another perceived threat where them think new but is not. This threat, this AI, our, our artificial intelligence, as we call it, is not new. This thing not new. We only just notice it now because what? As usual. Just like how we do in every case, when we approach everything, we think only of the pros and not the cons. We totally ignore the cons. Till where we ignore, stay the grow and grow till it turn monster, where we can no longer ignore. This is one of them. In other words, we think about only where we want and ignore the rest of what it is. Yeah, man. A brownie and she hot. Our friend them jealous. Till she throw hot water in our ears when we asleep. Forget the house so we catch her a fucking. Because we did just a think about how we are going to benefit. With no consideration for later down the road. And that is the problem there. Because like me always say, every good comes with an evil. And every convenience comes with an inconvenience. So therefore we have to enjoy the benefits. Or the convenience. But we have to manage the risk. Are the inconvenience. We have to manage these realities. For example, I come in and get one without the other. I have a good intention to do it. Them just want concept. Figure bring up in a conversation like a them come up with it. Speaking of which, me have a so called Rasta Bridging. <laughs> one day I'm bring him girl from foreign. I mean, with my love reason self start getting to it and draft it to a punchline argument them. And about three times doing the reasoning, my young Yeshiba hello to him, babe. That's the same exact thing you said, word for word. <laughs> you ask your babe, frightened. I'm not sorry for you, I'm not even giving me. And that's enough I do. And that's why they find it hard to like, subscribe, and even share the show. It's rough, but I still go and push. Because the people them, we need it and I use it for better them life, they're there too. <laughs> no, here's me telling you a few examples of the good girl where a man want come with the bitch. But most of we think only about the good girl. I ignore the bitch till it's too late. Blessing tie in with curse, good tie in with bad. We can't get one without the other. But most simple minded people, who are the majority by the way, think and believe so they can't get one without the other. And that's the real problem with every problem. Not just that problem here. Yeah. All of this we are going on with, with air threatening human and, and social and possibly physical extinction. Well, I'm not just yesterday. It was a slow a steady transition. No matter how we see it happen, it's like we don't see it. Because the growth of evolution of every problem, including this, is always a slow and gradual transition. It, uh, all right. it, it happens so slow and gradually it coming like watching flowers grow. If you stand up and watch flowers for 20 years, you never see that grow in there. You don't see it move an inch. All the way tall on you. The same place you still think it there. You have to video it and fast forward the video for see it grow. But we don't have that luxury there with most problems. And the same way social media change, you know, until we not not do, you know. Not not change, you know. And we are still the same people before we get phone. If anything, in our mind, the phone does help we cover more ground. Most of we can only see where it help with life and not hurt we. But we don't see danger. Why you think you can't tell a woman, for example? Say she obsessed with her phone. Because she literally not see it. And you go to obsess with your phone when you are tell her that. And you not see it. All right, let me show you how serious the problem is. Phone. Look on the screen. I'm wedding, you know. A walk would have so important if you're picking in a dead. Or another side girl with a better wall or kill herself. And even if that, 
What would I possess if you answer your phone for find out? We have a serious addiction to the timeline because of a fear of missing out. Because that's how we learn to manage reality in a new world. All right, look on the screen again. Check out the story where the observer bring a while back. Yeah. It's an it's a Indian official listener. It's my way in a government, you know, who's supposed to responsibly, you know, drain an entire damn, you know, for find him phone and drop in it, you know. But tell him, say, I'm addicted. I'm a promising reaction. Now I got different from a crackhead. Matter of fact, I go to him at the, at the quickest for point out so people are always depend on them phone. Remember, I don't know me I telling us that this thing I don't want me, you know. I don't know. Me I telling us that the system even love tell we exactly where they're going to do to it. And get them, and them get them kicks. Like them I watch blue movie from watch from watch we being ignorant to the dangers where them actually tell you about. And I walk right in a trap. Where them tell we say them set. Alright, you know, remember say from 2005 me telling you know this? In a stir it up? See a clip from Stir It Up Volume 5. Five, yeah. five, yeah. five, yeah. five, we yeah. have the we have the internet, we have the fucking websites. Come the fuck on, man. Get up to date, man. I go and show you what is up to date. Oh, why you tell me something? The definition of any net. Are 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 you call a web now? A web and net are devices or implements used to ensnare in a rasta. I hope you know that. Yeah, in other words, it means to capture. So no found a cart and I go like a real frolic in a Babylon. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. I don't think last week I said that the danger here come. And most of we walk right into it. Because we interpret reality too simple and we're too selfish. That's why we only see the convenience of everything and ignore the inconvenience till it's too late and we are ball. Me I tell you how long, way before the whole like chatterbox them. We all look likes and views. Say this whole social media thing. Uh, no social. None at all. It's designed to separate people from real life and get them addicted to illusion. But social media, them use and kill meaningful human connection to one another. You know? I it tear down some very necessary boundary where human did have, you know, and left them empty without the meaning. We, we having them struggle there for all them, them kind of boundary that it bring, you know. And we are suffering now because we never see values in them boundaries there, you know. In a them kind of struggles there. Yeah, man, social media are the first phase in a Bobby Rang plan to separate humans from one another. Once that separation is successful, which it is for the most part, because we no longer have that type of spiritual togetherness there. We used to protect we as a group, as a collective, as a unit. The energy there was a protective shield even when we now see it against the attack of the enemy who is the chief of this world, this material world, this Bobby Rang. It moved we away from say family as fam is we to seeing family as fam is me. Tell everybody that I'm special and I'm not to work with nobody. Because them are the CEO, the Dan, the owner, the boss. Even when them have no such qualifications. Now most people can't be part of something. They are the something. And at that time, they're sitting ducks. Individual ducks by themselves. I wait for the second phase of Bobby Rang plan. Where them just will come in and, and, and collect the souls where, 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 where we sell them. Because we're no longer human. In other way, God our nature. The design with it be. Simple creatures. Not simple-minded creatures. Creatures where they in sync with and dependent. And God, I wish that's a nature. The chief of this world, this devil, trick with this idea of easy. And we don't know how it make everything hard. Still news? Too repetitive? If you can't take care it, please leave. But the truth is we abandon God. Our nature for this idea of easy. And it makes us suffer in the worst way imaginable. And we still can't see it. Most of we still can't see it. Most of we take a chip already, you know. And it's a matter of putting it in. You know why? Because we never prepared for depend upon God. <laughs> Our nature. Because we program for depend upon the system. For everything. So whenever we face with the possibility of losing this everything, yeah. Most of we are going to line up for lose of freedom. Because we don't know God, I'm sure that's nature. We're not in sync with it. So we now go can function in our state there when, when, when them take away everything, what we see as everything. Because God has never been our everything. We're artificially intelligent. See, come back around to it there. We have never been spiritually intelligent, simple creatures. Manipulated, just simple mind. Manipulated creatures. We don't understand nothing about the unconscious part of our nature. May I talk the same part? When I tell you how long the cars if you turn on the light switch, all when we know the light gone. Because we practice and repeat turning on the switch constantly 
it become automatic and we do it without any conscious order from our brain. It's like a whole nether person living in you. And no matter where you think you believe, call you say it with your mouth. That's why they do everything where you really believe. Because of your constant thoughts, program it and make it act without your consent. That's why if you lose weight so hard, you know, because a part of you then, you know, that person the way you know you basically then, a fight you to keep the bad eating habit them you have, you know. Because you repeat them the over and over, it think you need them. And what you do is protect you from invading thoughts where you want to change that program in there. Because there's no the difference between whether something good or bad for you, you know. And just the thoughts where you repeat, program it, for act on your behalf. So you have to be ready for war with it, to retrain it, for help you with good habit. If you have got healthy in any kind of way. And the same thing I go on when people are addicted to social media, you know. Babylon know the psychology, you know. And I saw them use social media for turn winner. You soldier, think our beliefs are accident when war. you see them pay how much million to ordinary people on TikTok and Instagram for content. Part of the motive of a ton people in our agents are confusion. We are working on them behalf to help muddy the water so things not so clear. Yeah, man. They might incentivize our mission to motivate people with money plus attention. So they might turn politicians to help Babylon slow down the escape of the slave them truth. We get to by means of truth. The attention seekers and people where do God work are twin now, you know. Because gone are the days when an inspired person could attack the unpopular objective truth and, and change people's life without much interruption. And now you see a we million just as devil much as sometimes like even more YouTube passion money. than people who we, we mean it. Yeah, man. Them look the same way, but them different. One talk full truth and the other mimic the truth and season it with half lie. On the surface, them look and sound exactly alike. But the man is the same. But again, people now have no time to go dig. So they're going to lose interest in finding out what's true. Because it's going to take that outdated something in the name, work, to figure it out. Now imagine how sick the confusion is going to get when AI reach them prime in a, in a them ability to mimic any vice or video. And them can show you people all I say, but them not say. Even with way more accuracy than, than we are seeing now. And what? In them time, they what? Terrorists are going to just disappear? What happens when them start to use it to evil? For example, I send you a WhatsApp with your mother voice and tell us about why them have her. Send money. And you, they, they send a send a send because you see the video too. <laughs> with your mother. That you don't know say your mama dead for last year. What happens to your marriage when them send a video of your wife and some serious backers? When not real. And what happens to when it's real? And she tell you say it's not real because she knows say AI can do it. We would have never know the truth again. Unless you catch them live. You can't just imagine you end up in a world where you, where you have to glad say you catch a man by your wife because I only way if you know what you. Even though them claim to the AI they far from them kind of ability. They. And it's in that earlier stage. We know they far from it. I don't believe that. A AI them are going to use and kill the need for truth. You know? I'm sure I said done kill because we've been a do it. we are done a struggle for no truth already in today's age. You know? And we can hardly keep up with the amount of information we are come at with from all angles. And everything look and sound the same. And a claim, say, I hit at you. So we are take time and lose interest in a fine truth. And we not even know that. And not that them are. So we can't stop fight against the immorality where them are pushed upon the world. In Which is God. Them have to kill truth. Again, for the million time, I have to tell you now. The only way we can know truth is to stop and compare things to things and make it truth tell itself without words by examining the evidence like a police investigator. The part there with nature with the Bible called spiritual discernment. And that them a kill. When them a give you so much information and therefore so much work for you to find truth. And no accident. That a one big part of the reason why we can't bother. People are going to eventually stop knowing what we think or even how we think. So finding truth lose significance. Because we're too busy and often too lazy to do the work we take for find actual truth. So we have to go depend on the same system we are confused with to give a them version of reality and truth. When you think that reality will get better with AI? No, it have to worse. You know, if we have a picture of this AI takeover as something we are going to happen in the far future with a dystopian civilization of human we hide in a bush for a robot, which may not be very far-fetched, and be very well possible, but the biggest threat where, 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 where AI pose to a human are the mass dismissal of them service to civilization. In other words, they are going to turn human beings into something where they're where them totally not created for me. 
And that is useless. Remember how long me tell you in almost every conflict we want to have. One of the main culprits where they behind it. For one or both sides, a smaddy when they respect themselves. Remember that? What caused that? Because one or both of them, whether them right or wrong about why them feel so, feel useless. When AI start do everything, and that's how we done. Human beings are designed to sit down and eat grape. How do you think most of them women are going give you so much trouble as man? So fucking miserable. I want to think cause it. Them no know so the very thing where society tell them say to make sure so them get rid of and the one thing where they can't live without. And I challenge them where they, them I take out of them life. They treat me like a princess doing nothing all day. How do you think? I happen. And the feeling of uselessness. Because them think too simple. And I realize that without challenge, them can't respect themselves. Anybody who lazy, them don't know say that's the biggest problem. You know? Because you know, make for lazy. Human motivation for live come from doing things that make them respect themselves. Alright, picture AI in the same way like we see some woman buy into this thing like, oh, we don't need a man. And the male suicide rate all over the world just starts skyrocket. Check the stats for yourself, don't just take it from me, you know. I want to think cause that. But the feeling of uselessness. The inability to find for them purpose in the relationship. Where there's a lazy man, we are misunderstand the woman because he won't be a genuine victim. Or is a man who it really happened to and not really deserve it. The feeling are the same. It leads to depression. Because a man were deprived of the feeling of being useful. Wandering aimlessly through the world, unmotivated, not encouraged to take on the challenges of the world. And deal with it wicked and come home to smuddy, we are gonna appreciate that. And that are the worst existence for living. If nobody no laugh to your joke, then it becomes harder and harder for, for be humorous. Because you need a good mood for do it. And if nobody no ignite the mood, then it's harder for happen. With AI, the reality I gotta turn up a thousand times. And it now just affect man, it's gonna affect mankind. Anytime AI reach this, you know, it's gonna start rain people, you know, we are drop off a building, you know. And body does a bust like gunshot on the pavement, you know. And anybody where you see another time there, where you see still seeing a robot in a flesh, like where you see everywhere now, a walk all in a middle road, phone in hand. Nothing else no matter. No soul. It's a rough for the way enough people think, you know. Because if anybody can just go to AI, go write anything better than any writer, then the significance of writer will decrease. But the same thing mash up music, you know. What will motivate Jay-Z and Drake? And even Kanye, if you keep singing. If AI can make a random stranger do a whole album with them voice. We'd even way better song now where they can come with. And fans don't need them. And Uncle Tupac and Bob Marley, them, this I go fear to. It I go kill the roar of the crowd when motivate artists. Because fans not have the same enthusiasm. And the next way to kill humanity, we are go even worse than we, 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 we Google them do already. At which part I think when your retention is concerned. I talk about people's ability to memorize things out of them head. And I write this so them control over with them. All we do is recite and think we are learn. We now learn. So our next set of twin day? Learning and reciting. Them look alike but them different. I'm <laughs> sorry for the whole of them Google pick me here. You know? Where most of them are zombie already. You know? Just imagine when AI reach it prime. With AI. What AI are going to do for a student to actually use them brain to do a test. When you can just go in your phone, go to X and Z, you know and understand. Not members of the average human already don't know nothing, no matter what they think they know, you know, even the one that we are retained, no know half of what they think they are retained. You know. So just imagine, you understand, just like a calculator. One time people used to use their brain and calculate something, you know, and now it just boop, 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 calculator. You don't actually think, you just put in this and put in that and it tell you. You know, use your brain to go down the sequence and figure out how you arrive at that, whatever that equal. And this is going to happen to us even worse now. We're going to become brain dead zombies. More than ever. But as usual, most people point out how important AI is to making money. And as usual, they miss the point. Because they learn to see success only in relation to money and material things. So, of course, they're going to see AI like everything else in a one dimension, like I said earlier. Which is what? Which is that dimension? Only as good. Because they think as usual with selfishness. And self interest, and now I go see the danger. Wait, pause till them they right in I make light. And this, my friends, is what I'm now. We just again think of convenience and not inconvenience in every era of life. That's how we approach it. Because, again, just like a wife, we're sometimes good in our first part, 
You know, till she find a reason for upgrade her software and eliminate her husband. Because he's useless. Yes, he's useless to her now. This situation with AI is no different. We're not the first part we never see it come. We ignore all of the red flags because of what we want. We, 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 we think of only what we want. I'm blind to the fuck. So we're going to lose. Well, we some of you join the me. movement because I want to think of some he said, she said, blame game shit. I play over here, so I'm not disappointed, I lie. Dog, IMT, boring, not true. You want to go click on something where you blame somebody else or something else for your problem, I lie. I know you, don't. <laughs> Mankind did have to reach us so still. Either. Because one human can't sit down and make the next one win. No, me, you know, you're talking about competition and not cooperation. Right, in this whole problem there. So, no man now nah really think. Every man just want to beat the competitor. So every great thing we invent has to become destructive. Because one man has to win. So they must all go and do and do and do until they destroy themselves. But hope there, you know. There is hope. If we learn how to find the blessing, we come with the curse. Because remember, you know, every blessing comes with a curse, every curse comes with a blessing. You have to just look for it. But I always tell you, you know, I have to find the basic human where the, where, where, where the created for me. Or you know, can cope with a life but every, every two days, something threatened for this try the things where you, where, you, where you attach your identity to. And as me always say, who we really are is what we have left when everything outside disappears. If we can truly accept so we have them problems that we call out, then we can start prepare for fight with subconscious for the basic, simple, unattached self where we are going to need in order to survive. In other words, we are going to need the courage to be irrelevant. And just a quick update, you know, for those who are asked and I inquire about the course, yes, the courage to be irrelevant course, I have, I have, you know, what I have worked on. For help getting you know, off of the addiction and reintroduce you know, to a you know, natural or basic self. I got a good way with it, you know, but just like I said earlier, support is vital for help me with this mission. I am mean, not tell no lie, it's not really strong. But yeah, we have to go detach from all external things where as, where we assign our identity to and therefore find it difficult to live without. What is detachment? You might ask. According to the Buddhists, it is the ability to engage 100% with the current reality without being affected by a possible outcome. So in other words, is not that detachment that asks you to not deal with the material world. It asks you to change your interpretation of it in order to reach the state where you can become unbothered. Like a man can I get up. And so the mental change. Yeah, so I'm not off it. You know, so he so react differently to stimuli or things where men for trigger certain response than others around him. But the long and short, we who serious have to build our community and stop play this stop play Babylon ego game of, of who can talk the loudest. Take change out of your intention and turn it in a lifestyle. Because the trumpet has sounded. You know. I have to go turn up even stronger to live out where I come. Because I one thing I can tell you. If human is the model where AI fashion alpha, then we should be very afraid. Very, very afraid. Then build something. We are going to become so intelligent one day. I have to correct. Now it's going to be about grammar. It's going to be about the necessity of human to the equation. And they will be eliminated. They are going to eliminate or destroy any perceived threat. Yeah, man. Anything where them say is a threat to them objective. Just like the humans will program them to mimic human thinking. And therefore, they are going to have a very human approach to problem solving. And guess what will become the problem, the problem, the problem, the problem. In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time, time.